Math problems are just combinations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In word problems with no formula, your job is to figure out when to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. After you identify what the question is asking for and visualize the starting information in the problem, step three is to plan how to get from that starting information to the solution. This will mean doing a lot of planning before working with any numbers. One excellent way to plan your strategy is to ignore the numbers and think about the story in your problem. Think about how each piece of information relates to the rest and whether it means addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Let's use this example problem. A car uses 0.4 gallons of gas per mile. It started with 12 gallons of gas and was driven three miles already. How many more miles can it be driven and have five gallons of gas left? In our last video on visualizations, we saw how we can draw a diagram of the problem. Now ignore the numbers and just think of them as the starting amount, the ending amount, the miles, and the rate at which gas is used. Now we need to figure out how to build this information into an equation. Our starting amount and goal amount are gallons of gas, so we need to figure out how many gallons of gas are used in between. We will need to subtract that from the starting amount. We need to figure out how many gallons were used already. The problem states the number of miles already traveled and the gallons used per mile. How do those amounts relate? Well, we know the rate, which is the amount of gallons used in one mile, so to figure out the amount of gallons in several miles, we need to multiply the rate by the number of miles. Then we need to figure out how many more miles will use up the required amount of gas to reach the goal amount. We'll need to subtract the gas already used and the gas that will be used from the starting amount. So now we have the equation we will use without any numbers. Now that we have a plan, we can put the numbers from the problem into the equation and solve for x. We've looked at one example, but anytime you need to set up a word problem, try taking away the numbers, thinking how each part relates to the others, and determining whether each part should be added, subtracted, multiplied, or divided. Use this to set up an equation with words, then add the numbers back into your equation.